This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2017 AACA Fall Meet in Hershey, PA. We're checking out the Moss Safari Car Dual Cow Phaeton Metal Top Convertible. This is one of three prototypes coming in. Uh, you'll see the way how the Naugahyde body panels were uh, assembled in a, uh, another video on NortheastWheelsEvents.com. Yes, it is built off an international harvester uh, chassis and body, but as you can see, it's been modified just a wee bit. Wouldn't you agree? Notice the top is hydraulic. Notice the door's coming out. They come straight out. Gesundheit. Look at these door latches. Big iron. Now what's funny is the sliding uh, side. You've got the gun rack because remember this is a safari car folks. It's probably more gun. Indoor outdoor carpeting it looks like. Gotta ask. Notice the hinges for the top. And the top goes right back here. Straight down, just follow the road. Check these details out. They're good too. Good. Good. Oh, there you go. Now, the top, do you ever bring the top down? No. The only reason it's so hard because the arms are on hind joints. Uh huh. So once you bring that. Back section down. Yeah. Close the lid. Right. That thing starts doing one of these. It's oh it gets real my loose gosh. Because all the whole arms are all heim joints on it. Gotcha. Okay. And it's all manual, I presume. Yep. Nothing is automatic. Very interesting. This is one of three built. I love the lights all across. Now this I've got to zoom in on. Probably put a dead moose in there too. This is a safari car. Now Moz was a very interesting fellow. He also made the Ostentageous. How many were built? We don't know. I don't know. We can find out. I was just informed that there is one in the museum in Illinois, which we're going to have to call for a road trip. Okay, that isn't a closet, that is more seating, I guess. Look at how this comes out. Kai! Now you can see the International Harvester right across there. Check out all the joints and such. Is that weird? Again, 1973. This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2017 AACA Fall Meet in Hershey, Pennsylvania, checking out the most unusual dual cow phaeton, uh, Moss Safari Car. Let's read some of the stuff over here. This is always good. Moss uh, built seaplanes, the Moss Seaplane Corporation in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, car was produced for uh, hunting large game and African safari, but never made it there. Uh, it was built starting with the 69 International Travel All. It's a travel all. Uh, as its base and modifications there are using aluminum, dual uh, cowl, uh, windshield, hardtop metal convertible. Uh, there are three bucket seats up front, which, which came from Steve McQueen. Okay. Backseat area uh, converts into a bed that sleeps three people by dropping down the second cowl uh, backseat. That's what that was. That's not a uh, gun cabinet. It's restored using 40 yards of 50 inch wide black Naugahyde vinyl, 14 yards of black and red tuxedo carpet, 
2,700 aluminum rivets, four large uh, cans of 3M spray adhesive to attach the foam to the body, 7,000 stainless steel staples, 196 feet of quarter inch uh, thick inch wide wood strips, and about 4,800 uh, hours in restoration. Yep, sorry about that. Only in Hershey, folks. Again, this is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2017 AACA Fall Meet in Hershey, Pennsylvania. For more cool events like this, make sure you check NortheastWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com, and UKWheelsEvents.com. Remember, while you're there, post your events and invite more people. Sure. <laughs> Depending on what the conditions are otherwise. <laughs> Options. Yeah. Is it built like this so like thick? Yeah. So that in case like an animal were to like land. Well it's only it's only thin layer on the outside. Basically just a frame. Was there like a, an economic reason or a purpose for it being so thick? No, it's just to fit the body style. Hmm. It looks like it could rain something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate to be the judge to judge for originality. <laughs> oh. And these bumpers are just absolutely with all the lights. I don't know. Hey buddy, how you doing? Good to see you.